Hey, my bad. I was talking to a friend, so. Oh, right, back to this game. Poor Nasea. Night. Do we call it Nasea or Nigea? Yeah, I'm trying to kill that leader right there, but his guards just came out of nowhere and now they're looking for me. I thought for a second they called me right there, but no. It's probably just a scent or something. This fool came out of nowhere too, man. I'm like, what the fuck? Sure, we got level 10 one. That's good. Yeah, war supply. That means we got burned. I should. I don't know why we got burned, it, but it's telling us we got it. I thought for a second I got burned right there, too, but no. Never mind, did get burned? Most guards are back there. Now we just get worried about these couples over here. Alright, give me a second. Hey, what's up, Far? Hey, yo. I said, what do you call a player with that potential? It's gonna be you and Carlos, like, two on two against someone else? Yeah, seven to ten, yeah. Uh, no, no, I'm saying, like, it's gonna be you and two, you guys are gonna be one. Yeah, you know what we mean, Carlos, like, we're trying to collect some dumb, so. I mean, he, he's a big man, so, he, he's got the height, so, like, whenever, like, I do want to win, like, boys with someone, and I'll just, I'll uh, have him use his height. He's 6'3", so that's pretty much a cheat code fight. There's not really a lot of tall people central, so... That's in 6 feet, though, but he's got weight. That's in 6 feet, too? No, he was like, he was smaller than that. He was like 6'2". Maybe 6'1", maybe, maybe six but what about Kenji? Guy, can't you your height? Can't you? Yeah. Oh, man. You're making me look bad. You're making me sound like I'm some sort of like a... Uh, a monkey bogus. Uh, I'm doing this wrong. Hey, Par, what's your reaction if you're 5'8", but you're only 20 years old? No, what's your reaction... <laughs> okay, but like... What's your reaction if you're five feet tall but you're only twenty years old and you stop growing? You're five feet. Uh, what's my reaction? Yeah. Uh, well, I can't really do anything about it, man. What's my reaction? I'm supposed to be. Can't do anything about it, man. Unless you can go to a doctor or a surgeon, they can make you grow taller. Oh, even who yeah, someone told me that if you want to grow taller, like, they remove your legs and they make you become taller. They remove your legs and somehow you become taller? 
Don't you know what they told me, yeah? Let's hope JR doesn't go to the Lakers. Uh, hey, hey, but what if, but what if Lakers did send JR? What if JR in the next season he went off and he's averaging twenty points off the bench? What, what's your reaction? Are you about the entire season or just like one game? The entire season, like I know where JR Smith, like he got his trust back and he got respect back that he averaged twenty points coming off the bench for the Los Angeles Lakers. Like, what's your reaction? Carmelo. Who? Mikey Tony he doesn't like Carmelo. That's why he allowed Carmelo to play a single game. It's not just because of Carmelo, but like, the coach doesn't want Carmelo. No, Carmelo I don't, but the coach doesn't want to like Carmelo. That's the thing, you know.
Alright, my bad, my bad. So, I was talking to a friend for like just 20 minutes about something about our plan. So, alright, back to this game. So, damn, that is so funny. Like, he saw his friend on the floor, and now he got killed too. Oh shit, so are you telling me that like, the whole entire time I was waiting in the tent, he's walked over there, like I could have got caught there too if you went to the tent? Okay, we got two more to go, kill Paul March. So Paul March is that leader for dude, that guy. I do want to release those prisoners, but I'm afraid that those prisoners, they're going to do something fucking stupid. And what they're going to do is that they're going to run around where the guards are, and that's how they end up getting killed, you know? So instead of me doing that, I'm actually going to, like, protect them, so... That's so funny dude, like, I still change to hard and this is still quite, kind of quite, quite easy to me, like. Born in Asia, like, I changed to hard and it's supposed to be like challenging, but it turns out it's almost the same as normal and easy. Maybe with a couple days, like, if I feel like I'm ready, I'll switch to Nightmare and let's see if Nightmare is actually hard or not, so. But I do want to pick up that small traffic boy. I don't know how to pick it up. Okay, there you go. Never mind. It's only just three, but still, it's alright. We got one, two, three. Yeah, three of them left. Oh man, see, we didn't get any update about the pigs. I thought it was gonna tell us that that's a record. Like we just killed a new animal to our animal slayer team. Okay, what's he gonna do with the dead boy? Let's see. He might probably burn it, I don't know. got my fault dude like I was standing up right here I was taking a little peek and he saw me I'll give myself that blame right there Yeah, 
Like this was food that we had a hard time killing too. The homework is now next. This motherfucker's still clueless, dude. He can't see me. Ah, uh, Kai's a fucking dumbass, dude. He can't even see me, fool. Big fella now. We don't need to worry about any leaders and reinforcements because we just killed him, so. Uh, that's the same um, spot of grief we just had, so. I know there's one more guy left here. I don't know where he is, but. Hey, what's up? Yo, man. Yeah? What? I just saw that JR news, man. Yeah, what about it? You believe me now? And it's coming from Chris Haynes. That black dude from Yahoo Sports. He's credible. Alright, so what about Chris Haynes? Like, is he like some big troll or is he like a fake production? No, he's hella credible, dude. He's hella credible. I like that guy a lot. Like, um, I actually follow him too.
Obviously, we're gonna need some shooters. So I like Jr. But it depends on like if Jr. really wants to win it, then he needs to accept this all the time coming up to death, and he needs to like stay consistent. Well, I mean, like, let me ask you this though. Would you rather have KCP take the shot and land Stevens or JR? Because JR, like, they made more clutch shots than, you know, he made more clutch shots than both KCP and last combined, so. Yeah, so like, that's what I'm saying, like, KCP and JR, are like, KCP could play D, but when you look at KCP, like, do you really trust KCP, you know, taking a shot, or would you rather give to JR, where he made so many credible half-court shots, close the beaters, and JR's mentally, he's also a better attacker than KCP, that's the thing, you know, because he weighs a little bit more than KC, you know. Yeah, true. Would you rather have um, KCP Lance taking a shot or would you rather have JJ Reddick even though JJ's getting older or would you rather have Danny Green even though he's way more inconsistent than JR except he plays Barry Dito? No, isn't JJ like same high with JR? I'll 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 wanna go I'll wanna go go after Marcus Morris, dude. No, go after Marcus go after Marcus Morris. Um, Javel McGee, Rondo, Brook Lopez, and maybe Danny Green. Sure. 
So let's put it this way, so if we do get Rondo and McGee back, can we have bench um, we need to have like a really powerful bench such as Jr. as a shooting guard, a backup point guard so you can pay Roger, small four, Marcus Morris, power four, um, shit, could be the power four, um, Wagner and center could be both, for both of Does this count? Yeah, so if I'm laying my bench too, like, I'm starting line up to be Rondo 1, 2, Guzma 3, LeBron 4, AD 5, McGee. And then when you got coming off the bench, um, my back to point guard, I'll probably say maybe um, Terry Rozier, shooting guard JR 3, small four, or Marcus Morris, my boss is high four, Nikola Merkic, and Fitz, I'll say Brook Lopez or DeAndre Jordan. This is not expensive, baby. No way. If you have a chance for Carmelo, I was thinking like maybe we'll switch uh, Mark Smith's power forward for we'll put Carmelo small forward center, DeAndre Jordan, and Shrinker JR, and the point guard would be Rondo. And Terry Rochelle would start because he's much younger and he's a little bit taller than Rondo, and he plays better D. this one. What if we do get Terry Rozier, Al Horford, Marcus Morris, and they take like one year off? They, uh, think about this one. We can have we can have the Celtics coming up tonight. You got Al Horford at the center, Marcus Morris, small forward, you got Terry Rozier. Think about that. That's like a half lots of stuff Guys, hold your own stuff. Instead of putting up with Pat Beverly, yes. Yeah. Pat Beverly basically saying that he kind of deserves like a half max contract or fully max contract. Pat Beverly, because I read a post saying that, you know, I, you never know. I go, I can go to Houston, I can go to New York, I can go to Warriors, as long as I can pay me really, really good. Around mid-30, 29. ABC doesn't care about, you know, um, the legacy. He just wants to win titles and he wants to win more. That's why he left the Pelicans.
Go plug. Park. Honestly, I want to get Jimmy Butler, dude. Where you gotta go? I can talk to you later. Alright, my bad again. Friend was keep calling me, so I was talking to somebody quickly about some sporting shit, you know. Alright, is it safe to say uh, we should release the prisoners or no? Yeah, let me kill this one more fucker. Holy shit, I thought it was second, that was like a dude. I'm like, holy fuck. That's a humongous guard right there. That turns out this is the statue. See, our nerder just came out, dude. We just killed like, what, four or five guards right here, and he just came up again. I offer freedom and drag to everyone on my crew, including you. All right, should we recruit him? Lidos. Ah, uh, shit, I forgot about that. You can actually recruit people such as Lidos or Big Dudes. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, that's right. The old man did say we gotta recruit a lot of people. I forgot about that. Especially with the way. So that's the archery, right? Yeah, so if you want to recruit people, you gotta hold the L2 and knock them down, and then you gotta press your L3 again and say recruit. Honestly, I think he should. Sure, he, I think that was a smart idea that he did join my team because his leader's dead, his captain's dead, and he's the only one that's standing, so. Shit, yeah, but I forgot about the recruiting thing. You could actually recruit people by knocking them out or beating them up, but. So does this mean that we can actually, you know, um, knock out a big dude and convince him to join with us? I mean, this is the second time I just recruited a new person ever since I haven't, like... Pick a toy, not too big. Recruit anyone else ever since I recruited that last archery guy. And now we just recruited a spear guy. I don't know if he had a spear or a sword, but... Alright, looks like there's no more guards here. Looks like kill all of them. 
Except I grew cool one of them, so. A Spartan for right? I think he is a Spartan guy. Yeah, you can tell they're happy. They got freedom back. But see, we gotta find that on um, war supply ship. I know. I'm thinking like, can I actually recruit a leader to my team or no? Cause we're gonna need some, we have such as Pokemon or those type of bounty hunters, but the question is, I'm not too sure what I recruit them. This one or no? Okay, I think that's not the war supply. I keep thinking that is, but no, that's the wrong one actually. You don't need to destroy the war supply, but I just want to destroy just the fuck of it, so. See, it's telling us we could kill them, but what's the point of killing those prisoners like? They didn't do nothing wrong, like they've been like tortured badly, I bet you died, but. Damn, I felt bad for his legs, yo, dude. I'm literally hurting his legs like it's nothing. Oh wait, so these must be the prisoners' ship, right? So my guess is that these prisoners, yeah. like, they made, a, they might have came to the ship, and that's when they got captured by the bandit fellows, right? That's when they were put inside to the prisoners, and for a dead body, I believe they killed it, and I believe they kept the rest of the prisoners in the cage. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, I have to be right, like, there's gotta be an explanation why there's so many dead bodies but only five prisoners, like. Wait, so the orange means that that's not a really good weapon, so. Crackers jams, I thought that was gonna be like a treasure or something, but no. Where's that last um war supply? I'm looking for that shit. I can't find it, that's the thing.
Do I can't find a supply thing, bro. Burn more supply. Yeah, I'm looking for that shit still, but I can't find it. Okay, here it is. Yeah, I've been looking for this motherfucker. I think we're playing hide and seek and shit. Alright, now we're fucking out of here. Save the prisoner, we recruit a new fella. Now we destroyed everyone, now we're out of here. I was thinking I want to get out of here because I was about to give up. I'm like, no, fuck that, can't do that shit. Alright, now we'll do the real mission because it's close to where we're going. Fuck, you prisoners want to kill me? I saved your ass. Oh, what's their fucking problem, dude? I'm the one that saved them, now they want to kill me. Fuck out of here, dude. Like, I really didn't get it though, like, why did they kill me even though I saved him? That really didn't make any sense though, you're gonna kill me when I saved your ass even though you could've been executed later on? But that fucking old man is right though, I gotta start recruiting people ASAP dude. Sakura, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this one. I haven't done the Sakura part. Victor's kind of pretty weak, though, to be honest. Yeah, this big dude's not even giving me a challenge, dude. Holy fuck. I want to recruit this fella, but I think it's already too late. We can't recruit him. I see a sock row. I don't know, is this optional? Like, can I actually knock down a sock row or can I keep him? Recruit this fella, but it was out to recruit or take him. Big wolf just came out of nowhere, yeah.
Oh shit, we're like a couple of EXP away and we're about to be level 10. Yeah, we're probably not gonna beat him, that's for sure. That's a level 11 bounty hunter shit. I don't know if we're ready for him or not, but... Now people all left the church for me? That's pretty nice of them. Poor piggy. I don't want to see that shit, but That isn't my box screw and keep it, so there's nothing you can do about it, lady. She was about to call the, the officers, but good thing I fled. Yeah, I'm not taking a risk though. There's like four. I feel like I've been here before. Why does it look like the same though? Oh shit, the bunny is there. Oh wait, no, he's not bounty hunter? That's a weak ass bounty hunter though. Nah, he's only level 8 though. Like, why am I afraid of that fool? I ain't trying to fuck with that big dude. 
That's what I hate about fights too. Like whenever you get into one on one, people end up jumping in the fight, you know. Oh, see? That's the level 11 bounty hunter I don't want to fight with. He wanted to fight me. He was actually looking for me though, you know. He didn't get a lot of stuff at all, but it's only just like what a below level A boot. Nothing special actually. Oh shit! There's the guards right there. They're about to catch me right over there, but good thing I left before they came. I think that's optional, dude. We already did the Leo house already. Hi. See, I don't know what the fuck am I doing here, man. Fuck, he's right there. Why is that every single time, like, whenever I walk through, they always start to follow my track, my footsteps, little by little? Like, I kind of realized that too, that these bound hunters, like, when they know they're looking for me, like, why do they always follow me, like, little by little? Like, whenever I'm going far away, they start to come, like, where I'm going. War looks like. Not what the stories make it out to be. These must be some people that got cooked alive. Holy fuck. This must be a terrible ass war, dude. Couple of cooked bodies, one dead body. Oh fuck, I thought for a second that was a guard right there. But no, that's a sign that. This guard got killed right in the spot right here, that's why they put all his on. No. That motherfucker, he came out of nowhere, dude. But he's only level 8, so I don't need to worry about that fool. Yeah, come over here, fucking dumbass. I'm calling you right now. That's the reason why he's lucky that I'm not killing him right away. Oh, 
What kind of people are just watching the show? You know, they're not doing anything about it, they're not snitching, which I like about it. But, uh, who's gonna win the fight, it's Alexios or the Mighty Bounty Hunter? So what's the name? The Nipikos, the Spikes. Yeah, these binaries, like, they do got some a lot of weird ass names. But I just guess, like, you know, this is like Greece, that's what, of course, like, Europe, such as Greece or Montreal or Georgia, they're gonna have long ass names, so, kinda figure that out. Oh, I feel bad for this poor prisoner, dude. Damn, he just got killed while he was walking. But he should be smart not to walk in the long woods by yourself. I wonder if you're Lexios, then you can do that. But he is not the mind Lexios. No weapons, no horns, no helmet. So where is this going to be? A cave? 